Welcome to Missouri Earth Movers. This is uh, part three of hydraulic systems, and uh, today's video I'm going to be talking about the basics of hydraulic cylinders. Uh, basically, here at the top, you can see I have a welded body cylinder drawn out, and this is the most common cylinder you're going to see. So, I'm just going to do a quick explanation of how it works. Uh, you have your two end caps here. This is basically what's going to attach to. Uh, you're going to have your machine say attach here and then you're going to have your loader arm attach here or your backhoe arm or whatnot attach here or your bucket wherever the cylinder might happen to be placed and what you're going to have is you're going to have two lines you're going to have uh, a line here that's going to be at one end and then you're going to have another line that's going to be at the end here and basically uh, I'll go into this more in detail uh, here in a second but basically you're going to have fluid that when the cylinder is extending you're going to have fluid coming in here under pressure and then you're going to have fluid here exiting the cylinder going back to the reservoir and then going back through the system as a return. Now once the cylinder is completely out or the cylinder has gotten to the point where the operator is going to switch the valve or switch the control and pull, retract the cylinder back in, what's going to happen basically, this is just a basic uh, overview here, it is a little more complex than this, but um, Basically what's going to happen then is this is going to turn into a return and this is going to turn into a pressure basically. So these are two-way valves basically. Um, they're not so much valves at the cylinders but there's valves that allow the fluid to flow into these inlets and outlets here. So basically this fluid is going to start coming in here and there's going to be a big a seal and everything right here that will allow this pressure to push the cylinder back in until it's retracted as far as it can go or as far as the operator needs it to go. Now moving beyond that, uh, there's two basic primary styles here of hydraulic cylinders that you're going to see. A uh, tie rod style and a welded body style. Now as you, I said earlier about the welded body style, uh, the tie rod style you're basically is more of an industrial type of cylinder. It is basically a cylinder that has tie rods on the outside of it and depending on the size of the cylinder um, it's going to have more like smaller cylinders will have anywhere from 2 to 4 and larger cylinders can have anywhere from 16 to 18 and basically these are used um, like I said in basically industrial applications uh, and the welded body cylinders you will see primarily in construction applications and like I said here mobile construction any you know your excavators uh, cranes uh, mining equipment, off-road vehicles, all kinds of stuff like that is going to use your welded body cylinders. Uh, and the one thing that's uh, that's good about the welded body cylinders, or I should say the design of them since they have a smooth outside uh, body to them, they actually use them to uh, they turn them into telescoping multi-stage cylinders like you would see on a dump truck or anything like that that would basically have to have a really long cylinder and a single stage cylinder just isn't you know isn't going to work in that application um, other than that uh, let's see anything else I need to cover oh um, tie rod cylinders there is something called a NFPA National Fluid Power Associ uh, National Pow National Fluid Power Association okay I had that right I apologize uh, and basically that is the standardi standardization of the dimensions of the hydraulic tie rod cylinders. Um, and basically what that means is you can take any type of tie rod cylinder and all the parts will basically interchange in most applications. Whereas welded body cylinders, uh, they're a little bit different. They can actually be fully customized. Whereas the tie rod cylinders are all basically standardized, welded body cylinders can be... Um, can be totally customized so basically when you have to replace something you pretty much have to replace the whole unit or if something goes bad inside actually here's another thing I want to cover too kind of moving fast here I sorry this is only supposed to be the basics here the cylinders I'll go into more detail on the different styles of piston designs and rod designs and all that stuff later um, but basically uh, where was I going with this here oh welded body cylinders uh, they basically have a thing here at the end and this is called a gland, I believe. Pretty sure it's called a gland. And this can be unbolted. This side here is welded. This is welded on here to the rod. And then basically, um, this right here can be unbolted. And you'll see this on most uh, construction cylinders and applications like that. 
And that basically will allow the whole rod to come out and you can rebuild everything, basically. Whereas with tie rod cylinders, you have the actual tie rods on the outside that are bolted that actually take all of the force, um, whereas this right here is all welded together primarily, except for this gland at the end here. Um, but on a tie rod cylinder, there's actually tie rods, and there'll be one of these on each end. And uh, the basically, that the weight will be all taken with those tie rods, so they actually have to be replaced more often, where these are kind of more more good to go until something happens with, uh, you know, if they're overloaded or something like that. Uh, let's see, what else is there that I need to cover here? Mm, that pretty much covers it. Um, like I said, you can fully customize the welded body cylinders with special ports, uh, custom mounts, valve manifolds, and so on. Um, and uh, I will put more description, more info in the description box. I'm sorry, I just cannot talk today, guys. I just wanted to get this video out of the way because it's been a while since I've made one of these videos. And uh, if you guys haven't checked out the first two parts of this, uh, the first part was just the basics of the hydraulic system, second part was basics of hydraulic fluid, and this part three here is uh, hydraulic cylinder basics. So uh, more videos to come, guys. I really appreciate all who watch and comment, and please subscribe if you haven't already. Be sure to check out the description box. I'll have some links and more information on... Uh, hydraulic cylinders for you guys to check out and uh, if there's anything with hydraulic systems you guys are really interested to know please f uh, feel free to PM me or leave a comment and I might just use that as part four because so, uh, I'm actually not really sure what I'm going to do for part four yet so if you guys have any suggestions feel free and uh, you guys all have a great day more videos to come thanks a lot for watching